evening and welcome to Let's Play Portal Stories Mel. Now this is a freebie on Steam. I just recently finished uh, playing through Portal and Portal 2. I'm in a portal frame of mind, so let's check this out and see what this is all about. I'm interested. Now, I guess we're going to be playing as um, another test subject. And I think instead of um, Gladys, we'll have like a different computer friend. If I remember from the description, right? So, yeah, let's get in here. Um, come on, game. Huh. Well. Ooh. Aperture building. Everything's looking nice and beautiful and... Look at those cars. Are those, like, 40s, maybe? Established 1947. Here we go. Nineteen fifty two. All right. So this is before anything fell apart. Is this thing on? Katie yeah, Johnson. Okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. What you got, Cave? You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Do. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Michigan, hooray! Uh, wait, where are we again? <laughs> huh? Okay, so, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. All right, amphetamines. Keep you testing efficiently. <laughs> Aperture Cola. Sphere one through sh shaft six, eh? What we got here? Latest model yet. Quantum tunneling device. Interesting. Um. Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does the station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Pack your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> okay. You eccentric inventor, you. Because he seems like an idiot when you hear him talk, but I mean, he managed to build this gigantic research facility, so maybe. It can't be just that he had a lot of money to make it happen, because he started out as a shower curtain salesman. I don't imagine that makes you a whole bunch of money. Let's just look around. <laughs> Salt asbestos curtain. <laughs> Aperture science innovations. Science spheres. Now with asbestos. Fantastic. 
propulsion gel tastes like science. What else have we bought? Superconductor test. Superpowers. Super tumors or both. Fantastic. Alright, so what we can jump. As I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Yeah? Don't worry, though. No. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Wow. All right, sign in with the receptionist. Can we get in here? Hmm. Wemo whiskey testing sphere. Let's go to that one. Now, uh, what else we got here? Ingesture on aperture cola to three Kelvin. Oh, how about it? No, propulsion soda. Speedy sarsaparilla. Caffeinated decaf, centranium, and what do we have on the bottom here? Regolithrangia? I don't know what that is. Alright, well, we don't want to get to the exit, right? Where's the receptionist? Water closet out of service? Can we get. No, we can't push the door anyhow. Alright, well, I guess up here. Or maybe here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, excuse me, sir. Um. Hey. Okay, well, I guess I will just wander around my own then. Through the town, Here so. at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <laughs> last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. Look at these cars. This is. I played a bit of L.A. Noir some years back, and that was the thing that struck me about the cars in that one, too. Like, these old cars are just so much classier than our cars now. Our cars now, I understand, are much more fuel efficient. They're much more aerodynamic. They're much safer. Got a lot of great safety features. They have air conditioning and, you know, power windows. All of that is fantastic, and I wouldn't trade it just to have a car that looks awesome. But these cars just look so much more elegant. I like all the curves and everything. Old cars are cool. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, is this a playground? Oh, that's nice. Ooh, let's peek into someone's house here. How's it going? I see you threw all your laundry on the ground. I do that too. this the city at night or just even that there is this community here it's kind of nice instead of just being in testing chambers we get to look around a little bit a little more of the aperture flavor the sleep easy motel eh okay can't get over there oh the exit to the metro Take a look at the monument. Got 
It's a lovely little park. Where's the door to get in here? Maybe I'm not meant to. Well, we'll continue to wander then. Amble over this way. Trash can. Oh, we should probably leave all of that alone. Something electrical. Okay, this is clearly our destination. So let's just look to the side before we venture in. Let's see if we got anything else out here. A darkened alleyway. Well, actually, not that dark. It's got a light. High voltage. Huh. Alright. Into this building. Welcome, test subjects. Sign in with the reception. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. Representative for today is Carolyn. <laughs> yeah, we know all about you, Carolyn. Okay. Let's go right, so let's check the left. Is this lifting made safe and easy? Bend knees lift smoothly. If too heavy or clumsy, get help. Keep low close and don't twist. All right. What's all this? Can't read underneath that. Let's head over to where we're supposed to go. your brilliant career at Amateur Science Innovators. You could have what it takes to help us. Know a friend who can make it big at our future center? Send them our way, because science without results is witchcraft. <laughs> Sign up today. Okay, Johnson buys the salt mine in Upper Michigan. The future is here and it's under the Earth's crust. Are these his, uh... Best new science company. No potato award yet. I think those are later in the timeline. Dense. Fifty Shades of Cave. <laughs> That's cute. Let's see. Fashion, science, and technology. Didn't think it would open, but I had to check. So we can go downstairs, or we can go over here. We cannot go over here. Well, downstairs. Hang on. Um. Hello? I see you over there. Well, he's not letting us in, so down the stairs it is. So. At first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. 
So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boy is chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. It's the elevator it is. I'm guessing it's up there maybe? So what's over this way? This is the way. That's the elevator. Okay, where do those stairs go? Oh, they're not letting us in. Okay. To the elevator. Let's just get on the elevator, I guess. Well, so far, as you can see, it's just been a lot of exploration. Not really any puzzles, but you know, I'm enjoying it. It's just kind of nice and easy going. We get our messages from Cave, I quite enjoy those. So, just building up some atmosphere. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No! There's too much space! You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test could happen in thin air! Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. What are we looking at, Cave? Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss my ass. <laughs> anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things, but they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. 
Yeah, I have a feeling it's not going to work out as Kate intends. Especially since they gave us at the beginning that our date was 1952. I don't think we're going to be staying there. So we're down quite deep. Oh, I wonder if we're going to see the community again, or if we're done with it now. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovators short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappear, isn't it? That's reassuring. What are all these cars doing so far down here? I guess you gotta get around in a gigantic salt mine. I like these lights. We must have some sort of artificial sunlight or something to get these trees growing. Water looks nice and clear. I'm gonna try it. Can I step in? Yeah. Automatically kill me, that's always positive. Ah, that's where I need to go, so let's take a look around before we delve into there. D danger of what? What is happening here? Oh, is that just drowning? Oh, I think I think it is. This little part in the middle, the lighter part, I totally looked at it wrong and I thought this was some kind of gigantic like monster eating this guy, but I think it's just like splashing on the water or something. Okay. Don't go in the water or you'll drown. Please do not litter. What did this bathroom? Okay, so do we get to pick one or two? Which one we go to? What is this? Masonry mortar. week's food facts, number 13. We help the war effort if we buy what happens to be plentiful in our own locality. Stocks naturally vary a little in different parts of the country, but here is a plenty list which applies to most places. Home killed meat, coffee, potatoes, oatmeal, homegrown vegetables. On the kitchen front. How to dry apples. Maybe short of apples later in the year. The bringing, through bringing munitions instead of apples in the ships from Canada. So here's a way of preserving the present supply. It can be used for windfalls or blemished fruit. Wipe the apples, remove cores with a round core, and peel thinly. Cut out any blemishes. Slice into rings about an inch, a quarter inch thick. Steep the rings for ten minutes in water containing one and a half ounces salt to the gallon. Thread the rings on sticks or spread on slatted trays or cake racks covered with muslin. Try in a very cool oven, leaving the door open to let the steam escape, or over a hot cylinder or on the rack of a stove until they resemble a shimmer leather. The temperature should not exceed 120 degrees Fahrenheit. At this heat, the process usually takes about four hours. Okay, so what is this? Buy home killed meat. We 
inalienable right of children to something sweet. Alright. Moving on. What do we got over in it? One. Okay, so this is where they all work during the day, I guess. Ooh, someone made a mess. Stairs too before we head over there to the test subject waiting area. Best new science company. All right, we have all kinds of filing cabinets, buying a salt mine. Hardly working. I like work, I just hate my boss. Lay off anyone. Alright, this is a cheery place to be, huh? Then I think we've investigated all there is to look at. Go over. There we go. Into the waiting area. Don't worry. Those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy air lights me. Drifting off to sleep, I guess. And I'm actually going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. Uh, we'll see if this is really the uh, temporary sleep that Cave says it's going to be. I'm guessing not.